Hey everyone, just a quick tutorial on brass for trailer music slash epic music, whatever you want to call it really. Here's a quick preview. Yeah, sorry about any clicks and pops, it's just a bit intense on the CPU. Let's play it on its own and just have a listen to that. Okay, so firstly we're going to look at the instrumentation. Starting with the lows, the first thing I'm using is Talos Low Brass, which consists of bass trombones, tubers and shimbassi. And here's how it sounds. Uh, and I'm octaving this as well, um, which works quite well. You just may have to compensate a bit with the EQ. If you don't have Talos Low Brass, and I'm, I'm imagining most people won't, um, you can just use, you know, use a tuber in there, bass trombones, and it, a shimbassi maybe if you have it. It's not completely necessary. Um, one thing I will say is don't octave with a tuba because, you know, it, it's going to get way too muddy. So just limit that to maybe bass trombones, shimbassi possibly. The next thing I've got which sort of reinforces the low end is this bass trombone from Metropolis Arc. Just adding a bit of extra grit in there. Um, for even more grit, I've got this trailer brass from Evolution Atlantica. Uh, here's how that sounds. So that's the low end of the brass covered. Next, I've got these nine horns from Metropolis Arc. They're just playing the main melody. Underneath that, I also have three horns, which are playing basically the harmonics of the chord progression. You could call this the counter melody as well, in a sense. And then we've also got six horns from Century Brass, which just add another layer. And I'll play all the three of those together. Along with those, I also have the trumpet. And they're just playing the main melody, the same as the nine horns on Metropolis Arc. I haven't in this particular track, but depending on the context and what else you've got going on in the mix, you can possibly, you know, use like a synth brass or something to go along with the main melody. It's really up to you. As for the mix, on the individual brass channels, I don't really tend to do much, but adjust the volume. Um, usually I don't add, add any kind of EQ on here. I tend to do that all on the bus. Sometimes I will if there's like a specific problem with an instrument, but yeah. Um, so on the brass bus, I've got an EQ. As you can see, I've cut a lot of the low end because my bass is here, my trailer hits are here, and I don't really want this getting in the way. You will find yourself cutting the mids a fair bit when you're using the brass like this. And some of these highs are basically due to the trumpet being really piercing in certain areas. Um, you can also compensate on the, the instrument itself, but I just choose to do it here. Next thing I've added is an OTT, which is a free compressor. And the great thing about this is you can get a really good sound only by messing with one knob, which is this one, the depth. Um, usually you don't really have to touch anything else. And I'll just show you what that adds to the brass. Here's without it. And here's with. So you never want to overdo it with OTT. Um, as the name suggests, um, just mess, mess with the depth until it sounds right to you and sounds right in the context of the mix. So I think that's pretty much it. 
thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any comments below and like the video if you did like it. And um, yeah, see you next time.